out here at Box Head, mouth of the um, Brimley Water and the mouth of Hawkesbury, Broken Bay. Gonna try this big bucktail leather jig out, and we've got a big trolley lure there. Both high speed lures, so we can get a little bit of speed along. See what's out in the headland around the Brisbane water. I haven't been out here for a long time, so it's good to be out here. Coastline. This is right down near Sydney, Brisbane water, straight in the Bonito. No shortage of them. Whole coastline at the moment, slithered with them. Good bait source, you can get them anywhere at the moment. They're good for high speed, the X wraps. If you're trolling for these Bonito, that's what you want. You want a high speed diving lure or any high speed lure, really. So we can get this hook out of this fella. There we go. A little bit of bait. At least we'll be able to have a good fish in the estuary now. Got a couple of fresh ones. I've got frozen ones too. Come on, 
they fight each other. Oh, nice to meet her. Oh, oh, he just busted me. Damn it. Steal it. Oh, no. Got it. Going well, that lure, too. Still, and that was a big bonito. They underestimated him. Went for the lift. A lot of fish around here. Hammerhead, everything. Let's get another lure out. Right. We're going to go a bit thicker line next time. And a bit bigger lure. Red and white. It's going well, red and white. So, down in the yacht past lunchtime now it's about 2 30 so most of the boats are gone home it's nearly dead tide I'm just gonna have a little drift wait for this tide to come back in and we'll anchor up in Burley with some bonito look at these big strips might get a bit flatty here actually wind's blowing quite hard so I have to get us in position Giving them a good sporting chance if we get a big one. Big baits, we should get a decent fish. Something's taking me here. Might be a nice flathead. Gonna let him really have it. It's a big bait. There we go. Good fish. Only 
just working out what's going on here. Didn't Jeez, take long. That didn't take long at all. Nice flatty. Nice big fish for that. Getting up that, up that 70 centimetres. Just through the hook, bloody beautiful. Bloody beautiful. Alright, let's get this hook out. Nice, oh, jeez, he's fiery. Typical Brisbane water flathead. Very fiery. Get the brag out on him, have a little look see. Fish close to 70. Bloody beautiful. That all went to plan. Yeah, exactly 70 centimeters. Bloody beautiful. What a nice looking fish. Beautiful. Alright, we're gonna let it go. She's about 71. Beautiful fish. As I said, worked beautifully. Bonito went down like a gem. Gonna get her back in the water. Beautiful fish. She's got plenty of growing to do. Nice slim profile, plenty of growing to do. Bloody beautiful. Alright, let's let it go. Alright, let's let it go. Come here. Come on, girl. What a fish. She fired off. Bloody beautiful. Love it when it all comes to plan. Gotta love that. Yeah, literally. Only took a minute of drift. It's awesome. As you see me, I just feathered a bit of line. When you're using big baits like this, you really want that fish to take it down. Fish. Whoa, mate. <laughs> what are you? Get the rod out of the way. Keep going. Beautiful stuff, mate. Good work. Might keep it steady. Try not to lift your rod too much. Might be a big flathead, I think, mate. Well, see. I'm gonna get a look at it in a minute. Take your tension on. Don't surf too much. Fish, really nice fish, mate. Come on, you can take some you can do it, mate. You're almost there. It's a monstrous flathead, mate. It's a big flathead. Yeah, big one. Whoa, hey, the big one, mate. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, mate. What do you think about that? That's very good. Woo. Work, mate. That's that's up. That it's getting close to eighty. Yeah. TB here, mate. TB here. Yeah. yeah, it's getting close to eighty. It's a beautiful fish. Let's have a look. Brag, mate's right there. Oh, I might get that other camera going. Might as well get that going. Good work too, mate. You fought him to perfection. You really did. Fought him to perfection. Mate. Whoa. 80. I'd call that 85, mate. 85 centimetres. Whoa. That is a fish of a lifetime. 
Well done, mate. Let's have a good look at him. I'll hold him. Put up a ripper. Look at that. What, <laughs> what an absolute beauty, mate. Wow. So stoked with that. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm as happy as you are, mate. You caught that? I really am. That is a monstrous fish. Absolute beauty. All right, let's swim it back in the water and let it go, because, <laughs> yeah, these big girls, they've got to go back, everyone. Anything over 70 has to go back, so definitely going back. All right, mate. You want to hold that camera? Get a bit of footage of her swimming off. Oh. Well, <laughs> we won't get much footage of her swimming off. She just went straight back in. Oh, good work. Jump out of the way there, mate. Yeah, that swam kicked me out of my hand. So she was fighting to get, she went straight back in. And Jake's got the biggest smile on his face. That's what it's all about. Sitting there a bit quiet, dead tired. Tide started to change and bang, we're on. Happy days. Another bait, mate? Yeah, another one. Alright. Big strips, big bonito strips. Just watch the camera a little bit there, mate. Just sitting in front of it. And um, just goes to show, catch that fresh bait, guys, and you will get quality fish every time. Yeah. Alright, that's what we got him on. Nice big bonito strip, what we just caught today. Let's get it back out there, eh? Like a reasonable one, not as big as the earlier ones I had. Got himself a bit tangled up, but at least I got some dinner. Not a bad size one, but yeah, the, the other two I dropped were monsters. They really were monsters. Back at the yacht, just dropped the boy off. And I'll tell you what, I'm ravenous. All I've got is that piece of tailor. What I caught at the heads and a good sized crab dropped a fair few crabs, but I'm ravenous. I'm silly, didn't bring any food, but um, they'll tie me over. I'm hoping to get another crab while I'm cooking away here, it'd be nice. My boy was stoked with that 85 centimeter flathead. Just a bit of burly, strips can't go wrong every time, seems to work well. All right, I'm gonna prep this up, start cooking it, nothing fancy. Got a lemon there, it's salt water straight out of the ocean there, and we're gonna cook it up in a shallow sort of poach style. I'm just gonna rip the head off the crab, make him nice and clean. And um, yeah, the easiest way to do it is just get the little flap there. Obviously make sure they're past the sleep. And then just get your finger under there, just rip that off. And that's it. I'm going to go rinse that off in the salt water, get all that guts out, and um, we'll cook it up. As you can see, beautiful and clean. No guts left in it. Just going to put him in there, shallow poaching with the tailor. Bit of lemon to finish. That's salt water in there, so we don't need any salt. Jeez, I'm starving. Been just mucking around all day. Haven't eaten, just had a few drinks. That was it, so I had a big brekkie. Luckily, because I'm ravenous right now, I tell you. Here we go. I end up just chucking half a lemon in there because I need all the nutrition I can get. So <laughs> I chuck the whole thing in there. And I did get a loaf of bread for mullet just in case I wanted to catch a mullet. So I'm gonna have a little hobo's delight here and um, have a couple of slices of bread, dip it into that juice in there, the crab juice and the tailor in there. And I'm actually looking forward to this to tell you the truth. I'm glad I found that cup, that loaf of bread. Bought that on the way. 
And yeah, forgot about it. Stoked. Now right, I'm gonna have my little hobo's delight here. Alright, let's get into it guys. It's amazing when you're hungry how much you look forward to the simple things. I'm just gonna start with a bit of bread and dip it in that juice there. It's just salt water and lemon and the um, Taylor and crab juice. Very lemony. A bit too salty actually. A bit too salty. I should have actually put a bit of fresh water in there. I wasn't planning on eating it. Anyway, I won't eat it now. It's a little bit too salty for me. I was just eat the bread, hobo fly. But the fish and crab are gonna be beautiful. I just don't want that reduced down salt water. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Tell you what, I'm looking forward to this. Yum. Mm. So needed that. And yeah, you don't, when you're using massive baits, you don't really get too many small ones. And I wasn't really crabbing too much, so. I wasn't um, thinking about getting the feed at all out there until the end. And then I was like panicking there. Not sure how much fishing I'll do tonight. A little bit breezy. Had a big day. But I think I'll get up early. Maybe, not sure, maybe get some live mullet, have a lure. Not sure. We'll see how I feel in the morning. Wouldn't mind having a lure fish. Big live bait too, it'd be nice. Alright, I'm going to enjoy my dinner and I'll see you in the morning. Dirty air or something. Oh, that's bad, Jesus. Head. Hey, that bonito head. Unbelievable. That, that is unbelievable. I was expecting a monstrous fish sand because I felt I thought I had a crab on. And I felt a head shake. I felt a head shake. And I was expecting a one meter flathead. I had a whole bonito head on. And that pig somehow has managed to eat the whole bonito head. Unbelievable. It's a good size one, but he's about 70 again. Jeez, I'm pulling in some good flathead though. No keepers, all monsters. Anyway, I'll get the hook out of him. Looks like he's taking the hook right down. I might have to cut it off. I'll have a look. Yeah, there we go. Just gonna let him go. Beautiful eater, but I mean, beautiful flathead. Just a bit big, I'd say he's, he's probably about 68 actually. A tad under 70. Good sized fish. No, we're gonna let it go. Let's swim again. See if I can do this one handed. Oh god, he's fat after that bonito. Wow. Good that's still in the stomach there. They can um. Jeez, he's a fat fish. Look at that. He's so fat. Unbelievably fat. He's gonna swim away pretty easy, this guy. No problems with him. How good's that? Alright, I think I'm off the bed now. <laughs> I think that'll do me. What a sesh. Morning guys, beautiful day, 
Having a bit of a... Oh yeah. yeah. Having... Oh, dropped him. Having a bit of a mullet fish. And um, I can only get garfish. It's the usual way. If I want garfish, I can only get mullet. But it's a new day. I was umming and ahhing what to do, but I figured we'll go. I got some strips of bonito there. I'll try and get some live mullet for those bigger ones. And I'll just put a couple of hours in. I had a pretty big day yesterday, so. Wouldn't mind getting home nice and early today. Be good. Stingray in the weed up here. Big fella. It's coming in for a look. Eating. Oh, First live bait, come on. Tiny garfish, that's why I'm struggling. That's why I'm struggling to catch them. Small ones. That's a better size, Gary. That's a big one. Wouldn't want some mullet, though. Eh? One thing I am missing is the mullet. Okay, guys. End up getting three mu one mullet and two garfish. So we'll get a garfish out first because they're quite sensitive. So we'll get him out first. Six O hook. 15 pound line, just a bean sinker with a swivel, a 15 pound braid. Love using these big live baits. You know whenever you get one, it's gonna be a good fish. So we'll make the most of these three live baits. Hopefully we can land three nice fish, it'll be good. That's very optimistic there. Well, I don't think it's lasting long. I think I already got rat -a -tat, tat on it. The snapper eating it, believe it or not. Well, that's all that's left of the other one. There, but what a pig of a flathead. Took that whole big garfish. He's not even that big. What a pig. But good to see. Didn't last long. I dropped that big gari down. I got smashed straight away. Just taking that right back. Let me get that hook out. 
Got it. Didn't think I was going to get that out. But have a little twist that came out. Look at that, guys. Probably about, oh, I got the brag mat there. Probably just a tad over 60, 65 or something. Quick look. The other camera's dead, so I'm just, yeah, about 65. Spot on. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna give him a swim. Oh, there is a little bit of blood coming out of the gills on this guy. I may have damaged him a bit. I might keep him. I'd hate to put him back and either die. I've got no fish to take home, so I might just take this one. One fish for the table. It's going to a good home. I don't like keeping them this size, but as I said, it took a bit of blood, so put him on the ice. I'll cook a beautiful meal up with that. That'll be beautiful tonight. Feed the family. All right, let's go to show those live baits, guys. Fresh baits. It's proven a point every time. Go catch those bonito. You get plenty of action on them. You get your live bait. But yeah, beautiful condition fish. Good one for the table. I've only got one mullet left. Might put it on the lighter setup. Just because my other one's a bit frayed. Just go to that last live mullet. If I can catch him. Yeah, we've got, he's only a small mullet, he's not a big one. But these are dynamite. Little mullet, straight through the nose. Let's get him out there. What a beautiful squid there I just nailed. Absolutely beauty. He's a monster squid actually. Look at the size of him. Oh well, chucking him out live. Can't resist. Can't resist, but always get him on live. Geez, they're a top bait. <laughs> but they get pecked around a bit, so I'm gonna have to double secure my hook into this. Because I don't want to just get pecked away and lose it. That's it guys, another adventure done. I am exhausted after this weekend. Plenty of sun, really early now, it's only 10.30, but good to get away early and get home in the shade. Caught plenty of good fish, all big fish really. That's what you get when you use big baits, you get big fish. And we got the one keeper flathead take home. Should be nice for dinner tonight. Alright guys, if you ain't fishing, you're wishing. I'll see you in the water. Okay.